Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate comment scraper on Instagram using Socinator. This allows us to easily scrape comments on Instagram posts. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Instagram using Socinator. Let's go to the Comment Scraper tab because we want to scrape Instagram comments. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to search, target, and scrape a number of Instagram comments while narrowing them down in the process. You may view the scraped comments by clicking the Reports tab over here. There are several configuration categories for Comment Scraper. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted comments to scrape. There are two important sections in Search Query, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search. You can select the Query Type through the drop-down button, where you can see that it is subcategorized into several different types. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the Query in the Query box over here either manually or import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Then when you're set, click Add Queries to the List button. So to show you how this works, let's test each query type. Suggested users posts will allow you to target the posts of the suggested users of the account you enter. Let's say we enter the rock. Click Add. So this will search and target the posts of the suggested users of the rock. For hashtag posts, we need a specific hashtag, let's say hashtag dogs, click add. So this will target the posts with this hashtag in the caption. Hashtag users post, let's say the same hashtag, click add. So this time it will target the posts of the users who use this hashtag. For someone's followers posts, let's input the rock again, click add. So this will target the posts of the rock's followers. Someone's following's posts, still with the rock, click add. This time, it will target the posts of the users the rock is following instead. Next is followers of someone's followers posts, still with the rock, click add. So the app will find the posts of the followers of the rock's followers and target the comments. For followers of someone's followings, still with a rock so the app will search and target the posts of the followers of the users the rock is following for location posts we need a specific location so let's search on instagram let's say tokyo disneyland for example click the location and you may copy the location link or url you may also only copy the location id or the numbers over here and paste it in the query box in Socinator, click Add. So this will target the posts with this location. For location users posts, let's use the same location, click Add. So this time it will target the posts of the user who used this location. For custom photos, we need a specific Instagram post. So let's search for one, let's say this one. Let's copy the link or the post URL and paste it in Socinator. Click Add. So this will target the comments of this specific Instagram post. For posts of users who like post, let's use the same URL. Click Add. So it will target the posts of the users who like this specific post. The next one is somewhat similar. If you use the same Instagram post, click Add. So it will target the posts of the users who commented on this post. Specific users posts will allow you to target specific users posts. Let's input the rock. Click add. So this will target the posts of the rock. Socinator publisher campaign will depend on the campaigns that you have created and published using Socinator. You may view them in the socio publisher tab over here. And finally, the last one will allow you to target your own liked post. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, 
Click the trash bin button at the right side of the query you want to remove and it's gone. And that would be it for the search query. Let's go to the next one, job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should target comments of Instagram posts. We have already created a few activity speed configurations, which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 833, medium with 4,166, fast with 8,333, or super fast with 16,666. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Instagram comment is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after targeting the number of users you set in the number of media per job. Number of media per job will allow you to specify the number of Instagram users posts you want to target per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to target per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a number until it reaches another specific number, max media per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping comments even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Click the day you want to configure, Monday. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. And click add interval. And it's added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's name it comment scraper and click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time. Comment scraper. The last tool is post filters. This allows us to filter the posts we want to target on Instagram. The first one, post age, allows us to specify the age of the posts we want to target. The next one allows us to specify the number of comments of the post to be targeted. Like will allow us to specify the number of likes of the post to be targeted. Should have minimum character length in caption allows us to specify the minimum characters in the post's caption. Finally, we can filter by blacklisted or whitelisted words in caption. So let's add blacklisted words that should not be in the caption. Let's say you're not into politics, so you don't want to scrape comments with politics. So type it here. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Then select the right file. Must not have, for example, and click open and it's uploaded successfully. Click save when you're done. For whitelisted words, let's say you're into pets, so let's type pets here. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button and choose the right file, pets for example, and click open and it's added successfully. Click save. So posts with these words in the caption will be targeted and the comments of the post will be scraped. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping comments, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. After saving, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating comment scraper on Instagram using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop down button, and select Instagram. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to Insta Scrape and select Comment Scraper on the left side of the app because we want to scrape comments. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Instagram Comment Scraper. For the search query, let's target posts with hashtag dogs in the caption and click add queries to the list. For job configuration, 
an average daily activity of 833 should be okay. So let's select slow. For post filters, let's select recent posts, so one day old. And other configurations is up to you. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Instagram accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. Since this account already has configuration settings, saving these new campaign settings will override the previous ones. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Instagram comment scraper campaign. You may click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. To view the comments that Socinator has scraped, you may click the report button here. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.